What's up guys? Welcome to your 99th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is learn how to write data uh, through these file output streams and input streams and all that nonsense. Uh, no, it's not nonsense, but uh, all that craziness. Um, so what we can do is basically I show you guys how to open a file um, through the file name here and then we closed it within our onCreate. So that's basically saying, hey, if we don't have this file name, we're just going to set it up for the most part and close it. That's all we did in the last tutorial. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open it, write something to it, and then close it. So we have this file output stream, right? And we call it FOS. And what we're going to do is, again, we can just say open. Um, actually, let's set up our edit text, or our string first. So we're going to say our string and we're going to call this the data that we're going to save. And what we're going to do is we're going to say again our edit text which we called shared data. And then we're going to say get text again and uh, to string here. And now what we can do is we're going to write this uh, this string basically uh, to our file output. Um, but we can do that a few different ways. So one way that we can do it is we can create a file and we're gonna call this file F and again you have to import file and all we're gonna say is new file name or I'm sorry new file and within parentheses we're gonna put our a reference or our file name which again we created a string called file name and that's kind of our path that we're saving to so we're gonna say file name like this so basically we can write to this file a few different ways so one way is uh, or we can write to this output stream a few different ways like in the last tutorial, I'll show you guys kind of how to set open it um, using a file name string and a uh, kind of the context. Another way we can do this is actually using a file that we just set up. So we can say our FOS and we're going to say new file output stream. And within parentheses, we're going to give it a file name instead of a string in the context. And again, we just hit uh, our surrounding try and catch. And that's going to open it. And then we can also do fos.close. Um, and we would write within here, um, write some data within this line. Um, but we aren't going to actually use this method. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how you can set up a file uh, according to a string name and then use just a new constructor, basically, that's going to send it to the file output stream class. What we're going to do is we're actually going to comment out uh, this whole line of code, and I've showed you guys, you know, just forward forward slash um, two forward slashes, and we can say saving data via file, something like that. Um, but that only codes out one line of code. You guys probably know this if you've done Java, but we can also just say forward slash star, and it's going to code out everything until we do something like uh, another star forward slash. So now it's just going to comment out this block of code here since we are actually going to use this methodology of saving data. Um, we're going to actually kind of use the same type of setup that we did in the last tutorial. So we're going to just say FOS dot, or I'm sorry, FOS equals open file output and then we give it again the file name which is a string comma uh, context dot private mode for the most part and we're good to go we've opened our file output stream and now what we're going to do is we're going to write some data so what we're going to say is fos dot write and as you can see it takes a byte array for this write method so all we're going to do now is convert our string that we got from our edit text into kind of a byte array. So we're going to say our string name um, that we want to save, which we call data, and then we're just going to hit dot get bytes. And now all we have to do is say fos dot close. So it's it's uh, this is basically the concept. We need to open a file output stream. We want to write some data, takes a byte array, so we're going to convert our data into uh, that, and then we're just going to close our stream again. 
Now it's giving us an error because it says, you know, we have to put this in a try and a catch. So we're just going to hover over and say surround with try and catch. And we're just going to move this try to cover pretty much everything. And then we'll just add the extra exceptions that we need. So after we write, we want to close. Control shift format. Delete that line of code. And uh, we are pretty much done. I mean, that's basically this tutorial. Uh, just basically, we learned about this write method, a few different ways that we can save um, via, you know, either creating a file from a string and then uh, using the file output stream to create that. And, uh, and then also just using the open file output, which takes a string instead of a file, an actual file type variable, and we set the context to private. And then we just surround that with the try and catch, which catches the input output exceptions and prints it to the stack trace. So that's pretty much this tutorial, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. We're actually going to learn how to load the data, and we might learn about the async task class um, and what that's good for. So I'll catch you guys then. Uh, have a good one.